the tree of life is a, supposedly a Jewish or a Hebrew uh, conception tree of life of the, of the ten sefirot Keter, Chokma, Bina, Chesed, Gevura, Tiferet, Netzach, Hod, Yesod, and Malchut. These are the ten so-called objective spheres of being as, uh, and the paths between them would be the subjective experiences. For example, the path between Hod and Yesod would be the path between the rational intellect in astrology governed by Mercury and uh, Yesod, the moon, the feeling, the body, the foundation or the, the machinery of the universe as it's called in the Kabbalah. So this is a, a series of uh, videos where I'm just going to uh, talk about the Kabbalah, the tree of life and um, all the subjects that spring from it as like branches. And I'll be going uh, into the, uh, first of all, into the ten sefirot separately. Uh, so that's all, that'll be a series of ten videos. I'll start with, uh, uh, on top of this one, which is the first, uh, I'll start with, um, actually I should ha uh, take this uh, introduction video uh, to uh, discuss the the, the three pri uh, prior uh, layers of negative existence that come before the crown or the first motion uh, that's located in Keter. So the, there's this nice, neat grammatical trick that Heidegger and Nietzsche would, would have liked in the sense that it's honest, in the sense that it conjures up from, not from any kind of imagined metaphysics, but from language itself, thus from ma you, mankind's understanding of being itself it conjures up an understanding of being as how it came out of non-being and it's only it's a mental construct it's a it's a it's a they have the, so there's three layers of negative existence the first one is ein or nothingness the second is or no basically means nothing it's just a negative article ein zof means uh, zof means limit so ein zof means no limit limitlessness infinity and then ein zof our which means uh, infinite light, ours light. So you get nothing, or no, no limit, no limited light, unlimited light. Um, so basically, what they first did is uh, very smart to create from the notion of nothingness, which means not that there's an absolute void, but basically that we have no notion of it, no thingness, to. Uh, no limit so which makes sense if there if we have no notion of anything there's no um, limitation there's no source you know no periphery of the thing so it's a no no limit nothing no thingness also implies no limit right so and then they just added this the principle of light to that no limited light limitless light and if we go into science relativity and, and how re light relates to gravity we can make sense of those things and it's well known that Einstein was a Kabbalist or very well first in these um, occult traditions as most scientists and thinkers were in that time then it, it was much less like vilified than it is now I don't think in the late 19th early 20th century there was anyone who's worth anything intellectually that did not know the tree of life or the basics of astrology, or, or just basic the elements and things that have been taken from us by this, by the postmodernist regimes that basically take anything that's of power and uh, sort of value is anything that costs a little bit of effort to think. Uh, therefore, anything that empowers the mind is uh, has been removed from us from the people. But it's easy enough that for people that let's say run into it, it's easy, you know, there's so many sources, it's, 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 once you get into it, it's hard to not uh, get addicted. Anyway, so these are the three layers, uh, so the infinite, so no, no limit, limit lies, limitless light, from that become, comes the crown, keep that, the first point, the first motion, the first source, specific, uh, spatial source of uh, energy, of being. Um, so in the next video, I'll be uh, starting the, descent 
down the tree from Keter to Malkut. My friend Saverius uh, and I, in the early 2000s, we would always have observed that we approach the tree of life from different. I, I approach it from the from the top down, from the bottom up. But I think I'm a, my mine is the correct approach because of the sefera. It's it's a, it's a metaphysical model, it, and the first sefera is posited very explicitly on the top, and there's this lightning path downward. And in this theory, the the king, the Malkut, the tenth Sephiroth, is Sephiroth is um, the, the creation, essentially, the product, the, the end product of, of, uh, of the crown's activity. And I interpret the crown simply as uh, the self-valuing uh, logic. And uh, that, that plays down into the will to power, plays out into the, in the will to power in, in, in terms of the, the next Sephiroth, the Chokmah. But for now, uh, let me just uh, bless all the, thank all the ten God forms and uh, ask that they will give me the clarity to make some uh, some useful teachings about this subject, which I've been uh, which I've been studying intensively for some twenty years, and which contains a lot of a lot of good stuff. So uh, this is the first video. Uh, signing off.